Here we are with the command swap harness for Cyclops Cub Cadets. If you're swapping from an M18 to a Kohler Command Twin, this will be the kit for you. This is made specifically for the Cyclops tractors. Uh, we have previously released one for the 82 series. So this one is for this generation here, where the battery is in a different location. It is not for one of those. The difference is that this one has a new fuse holder location. Uh, it grabs its main power feed from a, from a different source. So we provide a new sealed fuse holder. And on these tractors, that fuse holder is notoriously crappy anyway. So it's, always a, it's actually an upgrade in two senses. So you get away with, uh, you get rid of that old crappy fuse holder. There's a nice new one here. And everything is labeled, so if you ever have a question about what you're working on or where it goes, things are, are labeled. We're also going to provide, you know, instructional videos and instructions to put it together and all that kind of stuff, too. But today we're just going to do a little bit of an overview. So you've got a new main power feed, and it has a pre-crimped end on it. Maybe. It doesn't like to focus on this table. There we go. And this one's labeled the main 12 volt feed, and in parentheses says splice because you're going to make two splices in the entire uh, installation, and that's one of them. The other splice is here, the solenoid signal. All of the wires that are provided in here are extra long just to make sure you've got enough room to route things cleanly. Um, you've got your connector that would take place of where your uh, M18 plugged in. And then. This one has the clicky starter fix built into the system, so you can get it with or without this. Uh, this is the same as our clicky starter fix for the commands, it's just built into the harness. Uh, sealed automotive relay, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is your command engine connector. This one is the engine shroud ground, so when you mount the relay, this ground goes up there with the relay. Over here you've got your starter post, so this is where everything attaches to the new hot feed for the starter post. So the commands have their hot feed all the way down on the starter solenoid, which is not, it's not here anymore, it's down on the uh, command engine. So we've also provided, and can provide, if you want, a new battery cable and a uh, terminal for making that connection. This is like a marine grade terminal. If you uh, don't want to use the marine grade terminal, let's say you're using a lawn and garden battery. So if you're using something tiny like that guy, uh, these battery cables will still work. So if you order the kit with battery cable, you get the marine terminal. If you use it, great. If you don't, that's fine. It will still work. The CH starter post, that's your command horizontal starter post, has a 5 16 ring. The Battery 12 volt positive post is a 3 8 ring to fit the marine terminal. Like I said, this will still fit the lawn and garden style battery. You just have to use probably a you know quarter inch washer or something to make sure your bolt doesn't try to pop through. Uh, the entire system takes probably about half an hour or so to install, and we're going to be uploading a, an installation video, and then we'll be putting this on the website very soon. Uh, we've had a couple requests for this along with the 82 series. So yeah, I think this will make the swap pretty easy for people and um, hopefully keep more of these old tractors alive. So thanks for uh, checking it out. And if you're curious, salunagarage.com slash wiring dash harness. There'll be a link in the description here. And then once we have a full page for this guy, we'll have the, uh, the actual page for this harness itself will also be there. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Here is the M18 to command for the Cyclops harness.